Hello viewers, welcome back to Cuisines and Culture with Sally. Assalamu alaikum, my people. If you are new to this channel, my name is Yagana Sally. Don't forget to subscribe, share with family and friends, and you won't regret being part of this family. And if you're a comeback member, thank you very much for the support. We are grateful. So today I'm going to give you some few reasons, one or two <laughs> reasons why you should not come to the abroad or why you should not travel to abroad let me put it that way yeah i know some of us nigeria a lot of nigerians are actually relocating to abroad but some people are applying as students because it's um kind of a little bit easier but right now as the thing stands <laughs> as it stands right now um a lot of embassies are beginning to change their immigration policies towards nigerians i have um one of my friends was telling me that in fact right now for student visa sometimes it takes a whole year for them to process and sometimes you don't even get um that's for germany sorry <laughs> that's for germany and sometimes you don't even get appointment and when you even get appointment it would take you know a year for them to even um respond to you and you can imagine if it takes a year for them to respond so when are they going to give you visa so um you know visas depend so much on so many things that's why when you're in this part of um the group that i'm going to talk about if you're part of this group please there is no need for you to come to the abroad as a student if you're going as a professional then fine but if you're going as a student there is no need because sometimes they deny you visa in fact not sometimes right now they're reviewing everything so they would definitely deny you visa um so first thing age age matters a lot so imagine someone of 40 years not even 40 years let's say 35 or 30 something or 40 years coming to study in the abroad and the person is coming for degree i mean <laughs> do you think these people are mad they're actually not if you're among that age age group you're 40 and above and you want to relocate to the abroad please relocate as a professional or maybe you're coming for your phd is understandable but if you're coming as an undergraduate forget it they will not i'm not saying you should not try try and see the outcome but there is no need for you to spend that money and go through all those stress right now they really really consider age because they are reviewing everything right now i'm talking about germany and i know that some other countries because i have some other friends that tell me these things some other countries are also reviewing so if you're among that age group please if you're not relocating as a professional don't travel to the abroad as an undergraduate student it will not work is the truth it will not work because even when you come here and you're trying let's say to apply for a student work or something they also look at your age and some companies will tell you this is even student work some companies will tell you they are not going to hire you because this is your age you are not of working class to them to them you might not be active as other people from maybe 19 18 20 you know to 25 thereabout you will not be as active as they so they won't even employ you so imagine you're in a country and you're unemployed and you're not receiving money from home and you have so much bills to pay when you pay, tell people these things that it's not all rosy here they don't believe you so me i don't even bother if you want to come come that's your business if you <laughs> I want to come as 40 at 40 why not try the embassies and see the questions they will ask you as an undergraduate coming do you understand so uh, and if you don't have a job you have so much bills coming in how do you think you will survive it doesn't work that way that is number one number one is consider your age please if you're not coming as as at that age of 40 if you're not coming for your phd or you're relocating as a professional don't disturb yourself 
and also one more thing is that when you have a good job in nigeria the problem with nigeria is that we have bad leadership and that is why things are going on the way they are but hopefully we are praying that things will be better i have said in my other video that do you think if someone has better opportunity someone will come to the abroad nah nigeria is good it's just the truth and nigeria has potential to be one of the best countries in the world but i really don't know what is happening corruption is eating us eh, religion come and tribalism is eating us and so many other factors so if you're in nigeria and you have a good job imagine someone being in nigeria and you're having a good job you're getting like 200k above or maybe even 500k above and you say eh, let me leave that one no i want to come to the abroad and everybody's coming i want to come to the abroad come you will see you, you will see come i have heard so many stories of people regretting and some people even going back home and trying to get their jobs back because of the intense of taxes and you know some other things here so if you have a good job in nigeria there is no need for you to travel abroad i am telling you this thing some people might not agree but i am just airing my view there is no need for you see in nigeria you can build a house like a huge house you can have as much cars as you want without nobody taxing you you come here having even one car to manage one car is a problem talk more or less of having a house even if you have your house on your own you'll be paying tax on top of that house <laughs> Yeah, you'll be paying tax on top of the house. So if you really have a good job at home, please don't bother. Don't bother traveling. I have so many people asking me this question. Oh, we want to come as students, you know. I have a family. I have, have a, we want to come as students. And you have a good job. What do you want to come and do? No, really, what do you want to come and do? Do you think is uh, I don't I don't even understand some people. I'm just airing my views. But if you really, really have a good job, you have a business at home. Why do you think even when people are here, people are having businesses at home? Why why do you think that happens? And some people that are here are developing their houses and other things at home because most of them hey when they are done here they move home they go back home they retire back home because home is everything you have everything you have your peace of mind um you know nobody is chasing you to go for immigration do this do that and everything you have everything worked out for you so most people um let me put it that way come here to maybe hustle go back home build whatever they have have businesses at home i have had a, i have had stories i know people personally and i've uh, i've also read about people's life and i've um watched people on youtube that have gone back home you know to set up businesses because businesses move in nigeria businesses move faster and other things so consider when you're applying to come to the abroad if you want to relocate consider these factors to be honest consider these factors because embassies are really review immigration processes are changing the world is changing so fast and immigration processes are changing if you're not going as a professional no need to disturb yourself if you're in this category of the group i just mentioned watch your age and then if you have a really good job or you have a good business so if you're not coming also if you're not coming for your phd at that range there is no need because you know when you're coming for phd then it's maybe an organization or maybe the university you're lecturing and it's sponsoring you to come and do your phd which is really good research works are really good here do you understand so if you're in this category just consider and see and weigh it to weigh and hear people's story ask people questions and uh, you know hear their views and see what what you can do if you're relocating with your family maybe professionally 
then fine why not you're looking your that that means you're a skilled level you know you're a skilled level so you know that when you're going you're working you have a job you're going for a training and after the training you have your job and everything but not starting at that age as an undergraduate student you go so far yourself that is my view <laughs> That is my view on that. If want some people who come for me, I said they want to jump out <laughs> from Nigeria. Anyways, that is by the way. So that is what I want to talk about eh, on this channel today. I will see you on my next video. Ch